My interest in getting involved with this project um, comes from a very enjoyable and positive experience um, I had from creating, sending and receiving postcards, taking part in a number of um, postcard projects last year. One was with Interface Arts Durham and um, other artists from Instagram and another was the Durham City Summer in the City Festival online digital exhibition creating postcards in response to the touring exhibition Pushing Paper Contemporary Drawing 1970 to Now. Uh, I also got involved with the project because I really do enjoy sharing my ideas, um, work and techniques to anyone who, who will be interested really. Well, street Art was a great exhibition um, initiated by East Durham Creates and Eleanor Math artist Eleanor Matthews last um, summer, 2020. Houses in Dorden showed work um, in their windows by artists from County Durham, the, the UK and worldwide. Um, it was the aim of brightening up our streets during COVID times. The proje project also included Dorden residents' own artwork and their stories using box pop portraits. I wanted to get involved with this project because I thought it was a brilliant idea to bring art into people's homes, especially as so many exhibitions had been cancelled last year. It also gave me a purpose to create new artwork in such a creative downtime. Colour is a very important element in much of my work. Um, I use colour in a range of, of ways from realistically representing what colours I consider to appear in real life, taking an account that we all see colour differently anyway. Um, here's an example, watercolour tulips. Next, maybe I sometimes add extra colours to compositions which might not necessarily be evident at first instance. So I've got a picture here of a um, horse that I did in pastels and you can see that I've added extra colours like orange in the mane here and blues in the shadows of, of the, the nose area here. But it just really brings I think the horse, horse to life. Then sometimes um, moving on from this I will make a composition in a whole different palette of colours and tones um, that are not really in real life um, but this may be to express a feeling or to um, um, express a sense of, of movement perhaps. So examples of this would be a series of um, hay bale hills that I did um, which where the colours obviously are not of a natural um, coloration but uh, I think they really sort of do add movement and um, excitement to the composition. And another one would be my Beach Lines set of paintings, which uh, the, obviously lots of the colours perhaps aren't there in, in that um, degree of uh, um, brightness, but uh, they really do, I think, give the sense of uh, the water and making um, patterns on the sands. Well, you could start with a subject or, or object you really like, or maybe something like a view you know very well. Um, if it looks too complicated to make into an artwork on the postcard, try to simplify things or leave certain things out. Um, maybe draw or paint one shell instead of ten. Uh, or perhaps leave out the boat on the sea in your seascape. Just make it easy for yourself. If you are unsure whether your idea will work on the postcard, you could draw around the postcard size on a scrap piece of paper and try out the idea beforehand. So just draw around the, the postcard and then try out your idea before you put it on the postcard. Um, and also you can always 
trace your idea um, onto the postcard um, if you're unsure of how to draw the shape the way that you want it. Um, and you can use tracing paper or baking parchment paper or carbon paper for this. Well, I have no uh, magic set method on how I choose what materials I'm going to use um, for the many different subjects I create um, artwork from. I usually make a decision based on um, previous art making experience and from doing lots of experiments with um, many different materials to see what they can and they can't do. Um, for instance, um, I know that certain animals with fur and feathers um, can be drawn very effectively with soft pastels um, and I will probably set off using these soft pastels for this subject. Here's a, a, a nice little furry chick in soft pastels. If I want to make a quick artwork, re uh, very recently I've started um, using um, more digital apps on my iPad um, which I might uh, make, use in combination with my own photographs um, and I'm able to make um, an artwork fairly rapidly which is, which is quite pleasing really. Um, I always have to bear in mind that the materials I've chosen um, to start an artwork may not work out um, and I might have to add different materials to them um, or in fact just start again. Um, an example of uh, this is a series of artworks I made of my local woods at Bluebell time. And here I started off with um, making a watercolour first. Here we go. This is masking fluid which you can rub off and get a white line. But I thought it was a bit flat so I decided to go on and then I added some torn collaged pieces of my photographs of the woods, the bluebell woods, to the watercolour picture underneath. Still wanted to go on because it wasn't wasn't working. So I've I added some uh, cream furniture chalk paint to highlight the the tree areas and the leaf areas and the branch areas. Still going on watercolour paints on the top and some inks maybe as well. More collage, more cream um, chalk paint, uh, more paint on top of that and eventually hopefully you get to a stage where you you find that you're happy with the composition and this is an example of one of the um, postcards I made for uh, the Bluebell Woods. Well, I'm inspired by when I go on walks. I'm, I'm a great lover of walks and exploring and looking for things, um, finding things along the way, um, like shells and fossils. And I try to um, take my camera everywhere I go. Um, over the last couple of years, um, I've joined a geology group and have really enjoyed um, finding out about uh, different rock formations that we can find in the, uh, this area of the northeast. Um, and these sites and experiences from these geology trips have found their way into my work quite recently. Um, my favourite wild places are um, anywhere along a coastline. I love being at the, at the seaside um, and also woodland scenes, woodland areas. These are my favourite. Um, I really hope that you enjoy making your own wild postcards and I really look forward to seeing how you um, get on with it and what you produce. Um, and don't forget to um, apply for your free um, wild postcard starter pack.